look at the balloon, say yeah. this is the city for the holiday and the big parade. It's a lot going on. The good thing is the weather is going to be pretty much ideal. Audrey, it was beautiful out yesterday as they were pumping up those balloons, and it's going to be good today, too. That's true. It was a great night. A great night if you headed out for the inflation last night. And today, if you're going to go out to the parade, beautiful weather is expected. It's also expected for everyone that to be heading out on this Thanksgiving holiday. We're starting off a little bit chilly, though, especially in some of our northern and western suburbs. We're finding readings there in the 20s, like at Newburgh, at 27 degrees. It's 23 right now in Sussex in Central Park. We're checking in at 43. Out on the island, we're at 30 and I live up to the north here in New Haven. We're checking in at 38 degrees. Nice and dry on our Sky Guardian radar. We're indicating here that uh, we're not expecting any rain showers, not only today, but also for tomorrow. So, a great day for the parade, a great day for your shopping tomorrow, and things will be quiet as we go into the weekend. Well, high pressure is in control over the northeast, so that will keep us a little bit cool, but temperatures will actually be a few degrees above average for this time of year. We have a cold front that will be approaching us from the west, and out ahead of it, things will be nice and dry. We'll stay quiet not only for today, but also into tomorrow. The the frontal system will start to approach us tomorrow, so we'll have a few clouds as we get into the evening hour on Friday. Uh, it looks like the rain showers should be pretty minimal, very light in nature. We're not expecting a widespread rain late in the day on Friday, but could dodge a few raindrops, especially north of the city. The front pushes through by Saturday morning. Colder air works in behind it, and by then we'll have temperatures just a little bit below average for a change. So in the meantime today, plenty of sunshine. Temperatures nice with readings mainly in the 50s. We'll have clear skies as we go through the overnight hours, so expect another chilly start for your day on Friday. Mostly sunny skies on Friday. High temperature 57. That will be the mildest day of the next five. And then we turn colder by the weekend. Stephen, Joe, over to you. Very good. All right. It is 12 past five. Why aren't you up cooked half? We're at 27 in high six. Uh, Sussex. Thinking of Inez. Inez and Sussex. So if you were from Sussex, who would I be? High six. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> we're a little giddy this morning. Okay. Look at our Sky Guardian radar shows things are nice and dry across the tri-state area. We'll stay that way for your Thanksgiving holiday. In fact, most of the weekend should be relatively quiet. We're watching a cold front that's sweeping through the midsection of the nation today. That will be coming in our direction tomorrow. Give us a few clouds across the region. It may squeeze out a couple of showers, too, north of the city, especially overnight uh, into Saturday. So today, high pressure will keep things nice and dry. Here's the front as it makes its approach on Friday. Clouds will be on the increase. Showers will develop late in the evening. They'll be out of here by Saturday morning but then we'll see a big drop in temperatures. Our highs will be below average for a change as we go into Saturday and Sunday, mainly in the 40s, and it will be quite windy, so you definitely want to be bundled up as you head out this weekend. Plenty of sunshine today. Break out the sunglasses, and we'll have temperatures mainly in the 50s, a little bit above average for this time of year. Black Friday looks great, mostly sunny, very comfortable for all the shopping you'll be doing. Saturday and Sunday, though, it will be windy and cold. High temperatures mainly in the 40s, but the thing is, we'll be nice and dry for the next several days. Stephen, Jill, over to you. Looks good. Thank you, Audrey. Ten past six now. In the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Of course, every bit as much a part of Thanksgiving. Thing, the sun yesterday, it was beautiful out. It stayed nice and warm throughout the night, which was kind of nice. Yeah, you know, it really was, Steve. It was a great day to be out for that pre. You know, what are they calling the Wednesday? So we have the Black Friday, the Gray Thursday. Oh. Because, yeah. you know, sales started actually yesterday. I, I bought a new iPhone, and the line was outrageous. Yeah. It's, it's, for people may not know, it actually started yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, some of these sales, and I was out there myself down in Soho. All right, Tim, let's talk about today, though. Today is the day for giving thanks and celebrating with our nice dinner. We're expecting a cold start across the area. Uh, temperatures are going to be hovering a little bit above the average high, which should be at about 50. Average low should be about 40. We're a few degrees above that in Central Park right now. But to the north and west, it's really cold out there. We're in the 20s in Sussex and in Poughkeepsie and in Monticello. It's in the 30s right now out at Newark Liberty Airport. Same thing down toward, down uh, down the shore in Belmar. And we're reporting clear skies out there. Our Sky Guardian radar is nice and dry and will stay that way through the Thanksgiving holiday. High pressure is in control. That's what's bringing us the nice and dry weather. It's going to also keep our skies clear for today. Tomorrow, though, we'll get more in the way of clouds. They'll start to come in from the west and they're coming in ahead of a cold front that will bring us the chance of a couple of showers. That front really won't impact us until late tomorrow night, and we could squeeze out a couple of showers, especially north and west of the city, overnight into early on Saturday. Then behind the front, colder air starts to work in, and you can see some of the snow showers that will be ignited across the Great Lakes. We'll have a strong north to northwest wind flow. That will bring in some cold air from Canada, and we're expecting high temperatures to be below average for a change as we go into the weekend. So for today, we're expecting plenty of sunshine, high temperatures mainly in the upper 40s to mid-50s,
So if you're heading out to the parade, you want to be on the sunny side of the street. That'll be the comfortable side. And then tonight, super cold with those clear skies in some of the suburbs. We'll be down in the mid-20s to the mid-40s across the area. Now, the few clouds tonight, more clouds for tomorrow, and it'll be nice for the Black Friday shopping. We'll have temperatures close to 60 degrees in a lot of spots, but then it turns colder for Saturday and Sunday. High temperatures only in the 40s, and a strong northwest wind will make it feel even colder than that as we go through the weekend. So I hope you'll be bundled up this weekend, Inez. It's going to be chilly. Well, thank you for telling me that. The weather's confusing me. All right. Here's well, we're talking about the parade and the closures. Right now, the streets are starting to be closed. Here's a look at 6th Avenue here. This is by 49th Street. A little dark in the background here. This is where Radio City is. And right now, you can see no cars out there. They're starting to close those streets down. Let's go to our map. So it was oh, right. just the same. All right, Mike. The commute. You know what? It's a good ride right now. Here's a look at Long Island Expressway, Little Meg Parkway, westbound traffic, eastbound moving without any problems. Let's go to our maps and show you the BQE moving a lot better than before. We had traffic moving really slow between Atlantic Avenue and the Brooklyn Bridge, but you can see right now smooth sailing there. Of course.